I often hear things like, you don't need an oscilloscope, you don't need to be using that. I've been doing this for 30 plus years. But one thing that I'm going to share with you guys is how I use an oscilloscope to diagnose a Ford Mustang that had been to two independent shops and they couldn't figure it out. Stick with me. So the first thing we did is we pulled codes, had a PO302. So following that, we started with a relative compression test and all humps were normal. So at that point, we knew that we didn't have a mechanical fault. So then we had our scope out and then what we did is we connected a spark plug wire number two and we took a waveform. As you guys could tell in our waveform, what you wanna do is you always wanna split your burn time in half. Burn time should be anywhere between 1.0 to 1.5 milliseconds. Our burn time was over two milliseconds. Usually indicates your spark plug gap is closed or you might have a short on the spark plug wire. We also didn't have a, a well-defined nose, and if you notice, we also don't have coil oscillation at the end, so this means that we used up all available energy to fire that particular cylinder. At this point, we pulled the spark plug, and what did we find? We found a carbon fouled plug. The next thing we also noticed is part of the porcelain was damaged, so this could have been due to detonation, or this could have been due to excessive turbulence from a burnt valve. So the next follow-up test we did is we used a vacuum gauge to make sure we had a stable vacuum reading, which we did. So at this point we could confirm it wasn't a mechanical fault. We followed it up by putting a boroscope camera in the cylinder. We found excessive carbon buildup. So we recommended to the customer doing a carbon, an engine decarb, spark plug wires and plugs. Upon doing so, the vehicle is running like a champ, no more problems. We also recommended to the customer to stop idling the vehicle to prevent this from reoccurring. If you're just getting into scopes or you're an avid scope user like I am, make sure that you guys put in the comments, tell me what scope you're using and tell me what got you into oscilloscopes. I hope this video helps you guys. Make sure you guys pass it along to everybody else. Make sure you guys follow us and I'll see you guys on the next one.